guys, welcome to another recap of The Bachelor, the Sean series. <laughs> Eleven ladies left, yes, that's what I would refer to them as. So Chris Harrison shows up and says, Ladies, pack your bags, we're going on a road trip to exciting Montana. <laughs> not that Montana is not exciting, but there's an awful lot of trees there. <laughs> Well, the first one-on-one -on -one date after they get there is with Lindsay. You might remember her as the wedding dress drunk. She almost got sent home that first night, and uh, she's lucky to be there. So there, her, yeah, her date card said, let love soar. So they jump onto a helicopter, and they scoot over to the Glacier National Park, which is gorgeous. They have a little picnic, a.k.a. They made out she ate his face. That was what was on the menu. Then they had drinks by the fire later on. He grills her. He wants to know all about her. She's an army brat. Her daddy's a two-star general. And that's exciting for him. They have a heavy-duty makeout. His hands are all over her. Well, she put out, so you know what that means. She's getting the rose. Congratulations, Lindsay. All right, so he's got one more surprise for her. It's the old concert again. That's the second time this season already. And the victim this time is Sarah Darling. <laughs> she had to give a free concert out there in the middle of uh, town. So they stroll in, and of course they have the obligatory pedestal that they must dance upon. It's like the weirdest thing. No one is watching them up there dancing in the middle of the crowd and it, it was just so weird it's just so really weird why couldn't they just keep them in the crowd they had to make them stand up on that thing <sighs> awkward all right so it's group date time oh and by the way she gets the rose of course group date time it's the old wilderness relay race Eight ladies are on that, and uh, when they showed up, the first thing that they saw was a bunch of goats tied up. So one of these geniuses says, are those dogs? <laughs> oh my god, are they blind too? So it's the old canoe race, hay carry, saw a log, and milk a goat, and then drink it relay race. Alright, well there's two teams of four. And the winning team stays, and the losing team, that's the end of the date for them, supposedly. All right, so the canoe race was pretty pathetic. Um, I don't think any of these chicks had been in a canoe before. One of them ended up in the weeds. The blue team was leading after uh, the canoe race, but that was the last time that they were leading because the red team pretty much dominated the rest of the stuff. And that was even with kicking o the goat kicking over the milk jug jar. And then Desiree chugged it, but you know what? I don't know how much actually went in her mouth, because it seemed like it went all over her face and clothes. I would really be surprised if she had one swallow. She probably spit it out. <laughs> Alright, so the winning team was Desiree, Robin, Selma, and Sarah. But... Sean's a little unhappy because he don't want to be sending girls home this late in the game. So he has Chris, his little toady, run over to the hotel and deliver a note that says, I want y'all to come to the party, <laughs> which makes everyone pissed. So Ashley, Leslie, Catherine, and Daniela, they throw some clothes on and they run over to the bar. Everyone's pissed, especially Tiara. So she shows up at the bar, too, and it looked like she was wearing one of the blue team's plaid shirts from the challenge. She's a thief, too. So she's all like, oh, you hurt my feelings. I don't want a two-on-one date. I want a one-on-one -on -one date. You know, um, blah, blah, blah. This, our date's starting tonight, and it's going to continue tomorrow, and it's going to be great. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, let's make out. So then she leaves, and then he's um, dealing with the rest of the people at the party, because at this point, the other girls have arrived, and the red team's getting a little pissed that they had to work so hard for nothing. 
So Desiree is having his, her one-on-one -on -one time with Sean, and Ashley comes over and steals him away. I don't know what it is with the stealing this season. It seems like it's worse than ever. I mean, Desiree had like a few seconds with him. It was ridiculous after they sat down. So then Daniela figures, well, Catherine's having her one-on-one -on -one time. I'm just going to run over there and steal him away. But when she comes outside to see them, they were having quite an intimate moment because Catherine was on his lap and they were really into each other. And she kind of freaked out and she had a little cry jag. So when he came for Danielle and said, hey, it's your time, she fell to pieces. And apparently tears really affect this guy. <laughs> I don't know what his problem is. He just can't handle it. So he gave her the rose. And by the way, he was pretty happy that Tierra broke away from the hotel room and showed up to see him at the bar. Because if you remember from his season, he did exactly the same thing when he was on the other side. All right, so it's time for the two-on-one date. Tierra and Jackie. One girl stays, one girl goes. So they went horseback riding, and Tierra's horse was um, hanging out with Sean's horse. And I think uh, Jackie got the bum horse because her horse was lagging behind. I don't know uh, if the producers planned that or what, but that is definitely something that you can know ahead of time because certain horses like each other. So Jackie, on her one-on-one -on -one time, ratted out Tierra's little flirtation at the airport where she basically was like, Tierra said this guy was cute. <laughs> okay, great. So then Tierra, in her one-on-one -on -one time, she was afraid of uh, Jackie smack-talking her, so she pulled out her, I lost my best friend, I'm afraid of being abandoned. I, I guess because her grandpa, her grandpa passed away, so she was like, I'm scared. Again, he loves that, he loves the vulnerability, he just wants to take home the sick puppy or kitten. So Tierra gets the rose, and uh, Jackie goes home. So what's the reward for Tierra? She gets a bonfire and fireworks. And all the other girls were like, ugh, because they could see the fireworks too. I mean, it's a pretty small town. Cocktail party time. Um, <laughs> there's always drama at these. Desiree almost calls out Tierra. She comes this close, but then she realizes, oh, the messenger usually goes home. Tierra's pretty much a freak. She's sitting off by herself. She wants to physically beat everyone in the face. <sighs> Robin can't take it anymore. She's, she's like, what have I got to lose? She goes over and confronts Tierra. They get into a heated discussion. Sean walks by and is, he was like walking by like a freaking Sasquatch. He was turning like this. What's going on? <laughs> and then walks out. And, um... He wants to get to the bottom of it. So, <laughs> Tierra, in her little rage, is like, uh, if I want to get engaged, there's a million guys out there. I'll get engaged if I want to. So, he sees that. He talks with her. She says the other girls are attacking her. But he's kind of feeling like there might be more to the story. So he actually asks Leslie what's going on. If I was Leslie, I would be pissed. I would just be like, why are you talking about her on my one-on-one -on -one time? So she basically also is like, yeah, Tierra's a bitch, but she doesn't want to overdo it because she knows the messenger goes home. So then he gets all crabby and tells Chris Harrison, I don't know if my wife is here. <laughs> okay. So... Who ends up going home? Robin. I felt bad for her um, because she was all like, I was the best one for him here, and he sent me home. <sighs> you didn't have a chance, Robin. You didn't even have a one-on-one -on -one date yet. So how would you even know? Tomorrow, it's the Canadian Rockies. And maybe <laughs> Tierra finally gets the cover blown off of her. I don't know. She, uh, you know the editing is always so misleading on these shows. But she gets hurt yet again. This time, 
it looks like some sort of a water accident. She has to get carried like a bug in a rug in some aluminum blanket. <laughs> it's just, it's so weird. Another two hours. Another two hours. What more do you need to know? Till next time, much love.